It was the perfect afternoon for a trip. George and his friend were going someplace special. To see the stars. George knew the stars were really, really far away. He wanted to make sure he had everything he needed for the trip. Including trail mix. If you're going into outer space, it's a good idea to bring a snack. Ready, George? Uh, George, it's not that far to Mr. Griggs's house. You can take a toy and a snack, but let's leave the rest here, buddy, okay? Let's go see some stars. George wasn't sure how they were going to see stars in a house. Unless they were friends of Mr. Griggs. Ooh. <laughs> see, George? There it is. Ah. It's something, all right. Mr. Griggs built his own observatory. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And on the perfect night. Let's go on up. George learned Mr. Griggs was an astronomer. He studied the moon and stars and all sorts of other things in space. Oh, that's a picture of a supernova, an exploding star. Do you want to see how I got all these pictures? <laughs> Can't wait. Right this way. Welcome to my observatory. Amazing. And this is the telescope I use to see the stars. Wow. You've come on the perfect night to see something astounding. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? <laughs> oh, allow me to introduce Failsafe. This is the first time I've ever met a monkey. Hello, and hello, tall person wearing yellow. Uh, hi. Failsafe helps me control the telescope. He took all the pictures you just saw. <laughs> I can sense you're confused. It works like this. Say we want to look at the Crab Nebula. We point the telescope toward one teeny tiny area of the sky. You can't see it with your eyes, but our powerful telescope can. And I can snap a picture. Tonight, we'll get a picture of a comet hitting the planet Mars. What's a comet? Oh, I'm glad you asked. It's a giant, giant, giant chunk of ice and dust that flies through space like a snowball. As it nears the sun, some of the ice starts to melt and trails off. It looks like a big, shiny tail. Wow. Wow, indeed. Sometimes comets collide with other objects in space, like the one that will hit Mars tonight. Summer days seem to last forever. You need a lot of ideas to fill them up.
like playing jingle bells on a squeaky hinge. Ah, uh, face it, George. We'll never get to jingle all the way. It's me, all right, at the bucket toss at the old country fair when I was a kid. If you tossed a bean bag in a bucket, you got points. And the bucket. Ah! Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, that's a dunk booth. <sighs> Doesn't get better than a dunk booth. You mean hitting the bullseye and dunking some poor guy into the water? No, being that guy. <sighs> What's more fun than getting dunked in a tank of cool water on a hot summer day? Ah! Huh. <sighs> never thought of it that way. But not that I know. I never did get dunked, but I always wanted to be. Ah! And there it was. One bona fide, fun filled, terrific idea for a summer afternoon. You want to make our own fair, George? <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> okay, let us know if there's anything we can do. <laughs> Hi, George. Are those for your fare? <laughs> okay, great. Wonder where he got all that stuff. Oh. You can get George. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi guys! What you doing? We're building our own country fair. No kidding. Hey, what about a boat race? I saw one at Sprouts Camp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy! All hands on deck! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> huh? Hey! Oh, sure, <laughs> of course. I, I was just, you know, cleaning them. Wouldn't want dirty bath toys. Hey, uh... Wow, looks like your fare has turned into a big project. for the boat race. Check. Hmm. Making them go? No idea. <laughs> Maybe we should forget the hose idea. It was a perfect day in the country for a hike.
some places in the country were hard to reach. But they were worth it. Hiking for a city kid, George. <laughs> We're almost there. The super secret hidden nobody but us knows about in view. <laughs> hey, I'm getting hungry. Sandwich break? my leg, George. Oh. Maybe if I go slow. <laughs> Ouch! That's not going to work. <laughs> George knew he needed to go for help. <laughs> hey, thanks for the lift, guys. You did a great job getting help for your friend, George. I called your mom, Bill. She's gonna meet you at the hospital. You know, I'm actually looking forward to going there. You are? Yeah. They have the best fruit cup I've ever tasted. It almost makes all this worth it. Hey, George. Would you like to ride in the ambulance with us? <laughs> sure, why not? It's job to give people first aid and bring them to the hospital, George. Right. And the ambulance has all the equipment we need. It's almost like a rolling hospital. Wow, you seem to know a lot of people here. Yeah, I've been in the hospital before. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, broke my arm playing chess. Met everybody. Well, hello, Bill. What happened? Hurt my leg. What was it this time? Checkers? <sighs> Turkey sandwich. Uh -huh. It's a wristband for the doctors and nurses to keep track of all of us patients. Uh -huh. Well, Bill, it looks like your leg is broken in three places. Really? Bill's leg looked like it was all in one piece. <laughs> you can't see the break on the outside. That's why we radiologists use an x-ray machine. It takes pictures of how you look on the inside. George had seen an x-ray before. That's right. There are fractures here, here, and here. What happened? Slipped on a turkey sandwich. Of course. I should have guessed. George thought he'd like to have an x-ray machine of his own. <laughs> Looks like Bill's gonna need a cast so his leg can heal. It was the last day of the year, which meant George was busy putting up decorations. <laughs> Uh-oh. Streamers get away from you again, George? Mm-hmm. 
After decorating, there was baking and preparing for guests. Looks like we're all set for New Year's. You're right, George. Tomorrow starts the brand new year. Uh -huh. Which means we'll need a new calendar. Ooh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We'll tear off the last number at midnight, and you know what happens then. Yeah. Happy uh -huh. New Year! <laughs> <laughs> You think you can really stay up till midnight this year, George? <laughs> well, if you want to be awake at midnight, it might help to take a nap. <laughs> okay, your choice. But you might fall asleep and miss the party like last year. George didn't want to miss the party. <laughs> so he decided to give the nap a try. But it was too bright to sleep. Finally, George was ready to fall asleep. George, what are you... <laughs> Trouble sleeping, huh? Uh -huh. You know what my grandmother used to tell me? Uh -huh. If you can't sleep, count sheep. Give it a try. You'll be asleep in no time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One. Two. Uh -huh. George needed to count more than one sheep to get sleepy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Luckily, he knew just where to find some. George couldn't tell which ones he'd counted. If George wanted to know how many sheep there were, he could only count each sheep once. So he asked the sheep to line up. sheep to follow directions was harder than George expected. If only sheep came with numbers. <laughs> George, I thought you were taking a nap. <laughs> okay, have fun with our calendar. Now George could number the sheep as he counted them. <laughs> sheep number one was very friendly. Little monkeys love riding buses. But a ride on the Z bus was the best trip of all. <laughs> because it ended at... Welcome to Zany Island. <gasps> Say hello to our new friends, Petey. Hello. Oh, God. How would you like your own, Petey? Ah. 
<laughs> wow, nice, George. There'll be adventure ahead. And here's a map to keep you on course. Ah, uh, have fun. George planned on having a great time. And thanks to his map, he wouldn't miss a thing. Fred rode fast rides, slow rides, <laughs> scary rides, <laughs> wet rides, and scenic rides. Until one by one, George, Petey, and the man with the yellow hat had ridden them all. Too bad they don't come in yellow. Lucky you! You got the last one in your size. We're usually out of stock by this time of day. Oh. <gasps> Avast, mateys! That be your warning shot. Zany Island be cruising in 30 minutes, I say. One more ride? Did you have a good time today, George? <laughs> what was your favorite part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sure had fun with Petey. <laughs> uh, huh? <gasps> hey, um, where is Petey? D did we leave him behind? about Petey, but it's really late. I, I promise we'll look for him first thing in the morning, okay? <laughs> but George didn't want to wait until morning. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't have to. The sea bus ran all night. He could rescue Petey now. Saney <laughs> Island was a big place. Good thing George had kept his map. It showed everywhere he and Petey had been that day. Let the hunt for Parrot Petey begin. But George wondered where to look first. <laughs> Maybe right here. When the firehouse bell rang across the countryside, the volunteer firefighters responded. Even if there wasn't a fire. Okay, George, I think everyone has heard it. You want to get the siren, George? What a doozy of a turnout for this year's Fireman's Muster Games.
I hope everyone has been practicing holes and ladder work. I must have climbed up and down to my treehouse a hundred times. Excellent. As you know, each year our town volunteer firemen face a different squad in games that test individual skills and teamwork. And each year, something goes wrong and we lose. George remembered that at last year's muster, things did go wrong. And got very wet. But if we stay focused, maybe this year we'll win that trophy. Hooray! Oh, you oh, 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 oh. Oh, kids. Looks like this year's opponents are here. Hi, everyone. Well, look at that. <laughs> George couldn't believe it. It was his friends from the city. Rescue Squad 86. Even Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There are three games. Allie here will keep score. The team with the most points at the end wins the trophy. Our first game is a test of teamwork and strength. The fruit and veggie wash. Each team must build up enough pressure in these antique water pumpers to hit their red or yellow targets. Ooh, that, looks, that, looks, that, looks, that looks kind of challenging. Yeah, very challenging. Is this fair? Our team has more people. No, no, no. The number of people on your team isn't as important as how you work together. The key is teamwork. Captains, are your teams ready? Ready! ready. Go! <laughs> other side! Oh my gosh, we need people on the other side! No, no, no! Not everybody, not everybody! You four on that side! Everyone else over here! That's it! Now pull for your lives! Quick, <laughs> <laughs> quick, faster! <laughs> ah, steady, Rudolph team! Steady! Yeah. yeah! The red team wins! Oh, fiddlesticks. A bucket brigade takes teamwork and coordination. Fill your buckets, pass them down the line, and empty them down there into your trough. The first team with a full trough wins. Want to try it, George? Uh -huh. <laughs> full fire buckets are really heavy. Uh -huh. Summer days seem to last forever. You need a lot of ideas to fill them up. Like playing jingle bells on a squeaky hinge. Ah, face it, George. We'll never get to jingle all the way. That's me, all right, at the bucket toss at the old country fair when I was a kid.
If you tossed a bean bag in a bucket, you got points. And the bucket. Mm. Oh, I remember. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a dunk booth. <sighs> Doesn't get better than a dunk booth. You mean hitting the bullseye and dunking some poor guy into the water? No, being that guy. <sighs> What's more fun than getting dunked in a tank of cool water on a hot summer day? Ah! Huh. <sighs> never thought of it that way. But not that I know. I never did get dunked, but I always wanted to be. And there it was, one bona fide, fun filled, terrific idea for a summer afternoon. You want to make our own fair, George? <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> okay, let us know if there's anything we can do. Need more buckets. <laughs> Hi, George. Are those for your fare? <laughs> okay, great. I wonder where he got all that stuff. Oh. Sprouts Camp. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ahoy! All hands on deck! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> huh? Hey! I'm a oh, sure, <laughs> of course. I, I was just, you know, cleaning them. Wouldn't want dirty bath toys. Uh -huh. Wow, looks like your fair has turned into a big project. Water, check. Boats for the boat race, check. Hmm. Making them go? No idea. Maybe we should forget the hose idea. It was a perfect day in the country for a hike. Places in the country were hard to reach. <laughs> but they were worth it. for a city kid, George. We're almost there. The super secret hidden nobody but us knows about in view. <laughs> hey, I'm getting hungry. Sandwich break? I 
like I can walk on my leg, George. Oh. Maybe if I go slow. Oh. Ouch! That's not going to work. Oh. George knew he needed to go for help. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, guys. You did a great job getting help for your friend, George. I called your mom, Bill. She's gonna meet you at the hospital. You know, I'm actually looking forward to going there. You are? Yeah. They have the best fruit cup I've ever tasted. It almost makes all this worth it. Hey, George. Would you like to ride in the ambulance with us? <gasps> sure, why not? It's the paramedic's job to give people first aid and bring them to the hospital, George. Right. And the ambulance has all the equipment we need. It's almost like a rolling hospital. Wow, you seem to know a lot of people here. Yeah, I've been in the hospital before. Huh? Oh yeah, broke my arm playing chess. Met everybody. Well, hello, Bill. What happened? Hurt my leg. What was it this time? Checkers? <sighs> Turkey sandwich. <laughs> it's a wristband for the doctors and nurses to keep track of all of us patients. <laughs> Well, Bill, it looks like your leg is broken in three places. Really? <coughs> Bill's leg looked like it was all in one piece. Huh? <laughs> you can't see the break on the outside. That's why we radiologists use an x-ray machine. It takes pictures of how you look on the inside. <coughs> George had seen an x-ray before. <coughs> <coughs> That's right. There are fractures here, here, and here. What happened? Slipped on a turkey sandwich. Of course. I should have guessed. George thought he'd like to have an x-ray machine of his own. <laughs> Looks like Bill's gonna need a cast so his leg can heal. It was the last day of the year, which meant George was busy putting up decorations. <laughs> Uh-oh. Streamers get away from you again, George? Mm -hmm. After decorating, there was baking and preparing mm -hmm. for guests. Looks like we're all set for New Year's. <laughs> You're right, George. Tomorrow starts the brand new year. <laughs> Which means we'll need a new calendar. We'll tear off the last number at midnight, and you know what happens then. Yeah. Happy <laughs> New Year! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think you can really stay up till midnight this year, George? <laughs> well, if you want to be awake at midnight, it might help to take a nap. <laughs> okay, your choice. But you might fall asleep and miss the party like last year. George didn't want to miss the party. <laughs> Yeah. 
so he decided to give the nap a try. But it was too bright to sleep. Finally, George was ready to fall asleep. George, what are you... <laughs> Trouble sleeping, huh? Uh -huh. You know what my grandmother used to tell me? Uh -huh. If you can't sleep, count sheep. Uh -huh. Give it a try. You'll be asleep in no time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One. George needed to count more than one sheep to get sleepy. Luckily, he knew just where to find some. One, two, three, four, Six, seven. The sheep kept moving. George couldn't tell which ones he'd counted. If George wanted to know how many sheep there were, he could only count each sheep once. So he asked the sheep to line up. <laughs> Getting sheep to follow directions was harder than George expected. If only sheep came with numbers. I thought you were taking a nap. <laughs> okay, have fun with our calendar. Now George could number the sheep as he counted them. <laughs> sheep number one was very friendly. Little monkeys love riding buses. But a ride on the Z-Bus was the best trip of all. Because it ended at... Welcome to Zany Island. <gasps> Say hello to our new friends, Petey. Hello. Oh. How would you like your own, Petey? Oh, hang on. <laughs> wow, nice, George. There'll be adventure ahead. And here's a map to keep you on course. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, have fun. Mm. George planned on having a great time. Mm -hmm. And thanks to his map, he wouldn't miss a thing. Friend rode fast rides, slow rides, <laughs> scary rides, <laughs> wet rides, and scenic rides. Until one by one, George, Petey, and the man with the yellow hat had ridden them all. Too bad they don't come in yellow. Lucky you! 
You got the last one in your size. We're usually out of stock by this time of day. Oh. <gasps> Avast, mateys! That be your warning shot. Zany Island be cruising in 30 minutes, I say. One more ride? <laughs> Did you have a good time today, George? <laughs> what was your favorite part? <laughs> yeah, you sure had fun with Petey. <laughs> huh? <gasps> hey, um, where is Petey? D did we leave him behind? about Petey, but it's really late. I, I promise we'll look for him first thing in the morning, okay? But George didn't want to wait until morning. Luckily, he didn't have to. The sea bus ran all night. He could rescue Petey now. Zany <laughs> Island was a big place. Good thing George had kept his map. It showed everywhere he and Petey had been that day. Let the hunt for Parrot Petey begin. But George wondered where to look first. <laughs> Maybe right here. And Bill's decorations were already down. But not George's. Ooh. Ha, she's still got some life in her. Uh, sort of. I almost forgot the erector set. Ah! Ready to tackle the 1889 Paris exhibition? Hmm, <laughs> sounds like a big project. What do you say we set it up in the attic where there's more room? Uh -huh. uh, hang in there, George. I'm just getting it started for you. Then she's all yours. It had been too cold to climb with Jumpy Squirrel. Or run with Dotty Deer. Or waddle with Dumpling Duck. George missed his animal friends. Since it was too cold for George to play outside, maybe his friends could come inside for a sleepover. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, are these sleeping bags? <laughs> okay, so you want to have a sleepover with your friends? Yeah! <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> oh, and when you talk to Allie and Bill and whoever that other person is, See if one of them is good with erector sets. If you're having a sleepover, you'll need snacks, fun party games, and cozy.
cozy sleeping bags. Now all George needed were guests. Jumpy didn't like being startled. Whatever the monkey wanted, it had better be good. Who was Jumpy to say no to free nuts? Dottie wondered where Jumpy had gone. If it was good enough for the squirrel and the deer, Dumpling wanted in too. <laughs> Maybe they'd like to play a game. Dumpling knew what to do with eggs. Fortunately, George had extra game pieces. <laughs> Jumpy thought they were nuts. And Dottie thought the dice were sugar cubes. They should just go to bed. Huh? Was this their first sleepover? George would have to show them how sleeping bags worked. and the man with the yellow hat had been invited by Mr. Quint to go ice fishing. George thought he should practice. The trouble was, the ice weren't biting. Hey, George, what happened to all our... George, you do realize that ice fishing doesn't mean fishing for ice. Mr. Quint will show you. Better go pack a coat, hat, and mittens. It's gonna be cold up north. Ah! Woo, 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 woo. Mr. Quint, we're here. Well, hello, you two. Come on in. Thanks for the invitation. I have always wanted to try ice fishing. Well, to get where the fish are, you have to drill a hole, George. Oh. <laughs> George doesn't believe that fish can live in the ice. <laughs> See down there? The fish are in the water. Under the ice. No, George. It takes an expert fisherman, <clears throat> like me, to catch them. They don't just jump up and say hello. Oh, my goodness! Maybe they do jump up and say hello. It was George's old friends, Professors Einstein and Pizza. Oh my, you look a lot like our pal George. 
Why, it is George. What brings you up here, fellas? We're here on an important mission. But we're having trouble with our sub. Someone spilled his juice box on the control panel. Someone drives like this. Whee! Whee! At any rate, it appears that we'll have to scrap the mission. Oh. Wait a minute, Einstein. George is here. <gasps> the the mini -sub. sub! George, how would you like to do some whale counting for us? <laughs> um, that sounds like yes to me. The, the mission, mission is saved! saved. Okay, George, in you go. You remember how to use all the controls? Thanks, Mr. Quint. George, this time of year, several species of whales are swimming to their winter homes. We're trying to track them as they migrate. Your mission is to count the whales you see going by. <coughs> now, see the screen on your dashboard? Uh -huh. That shows the different kinds of whales you might encounter. Ah. Beluga whales are white, bowhead whales are dark, and narwhals have long tusks. Woo! <laughs> now, George, whales aren't fish. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe air. Some of them also swim really deep, so you'll have to look up and down. When you see one of these whales, just touch the picture on the screen that matches it, and the computer will count it. <laughs> okay, George. Here we go! 